Now, as Youth Month is uh, drawing to a close, issues affecting their skills, development and personal progress continue to be important. Music and entertainment are powerful and effective in uh, grabbing the attention of the youth and reaching them in a way that they prefer, especially when coupled with mentorship and guidance from experienced and successful creatives in the industry. Well, hi, Tudumelang, a very good evening. My name is Tabo Mulukwan. Welcome to this edition of Soweto Today. Tonight, we look at the talent and skills development in young people in the entertainment industry and how effective it can be when coupled with uh, mentorship. Now, joining us in studio to have this conversation is award-winning veteran actor, Tello Magekan Gube, to expand on the conversation more. Uh, Mr. Magekan Gube, much appreciated for mm -hmm. joining us. Welcome to the show. No, thank you. Thank you, Tobo, and thank you for having me. Um, I, I want us to kickstart the conversation by looking at your journey. Mm -hmm. um, you know, um, a, a lot of young people, when they see you uh, mm -hmm. out there, they get excited because, mm. you know, they've actually uh, been with you for a couple of times that, on these yeah. screens and, and, yeah. and stuff. Let's start where it all began. Well, it, uh, it all started in 1975. I mean, many of people, the younger people, <laughs> with not even ideas, yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> uh, I uh, watched um, Gibson Kenter's uh, How Long. And after seeing that play, I kept on mimicking what was, you know, happening in the show. And the main character was a, actually Brenda Fassi's brother, um, yeah. Odyssey Fassi. And he used to have a, a gap, and I used to have a gap here as well. <laughs> now, you know, <laughs> maybe some the dental yeah. expertise has actually done some miracles on me. And uh, I used to, you know, he, he, make, he was my kind of like a role model, you know, and I was mimicking a lot of things that he was doing. And uh, my cousins, in my, I mean, I was about 15 years old, and my, you know, my cousins who were in their late teens yeah. were doing an amateur play. And I used to come and say, like, hey, you remember when Af where Africa did this, you know, when Africa did this? And one of them said, you know, but I think Lindon and Lennon, man. Not in Italy, you know, there's something, <laughs> Lindon. I would just see if I get in the play. And they started, I wasn't, you know, part of the play. They started writing me in. So basically, that is where it all started. And then, what? Six years later, uh, um, what had happened was I showcased my little thing that I was doing because part of me grew up in, in Soweto and part in Atridgeville. And uh, Gibson Kentis people were in Atridgeville. So I was doing a one minute play then and I went and I said, hey man, I want you to guys give me some advice. And I showed them and then said, hey, quit in. You want to speak, you shy one minute play. <laughs> you know, I mean, I was about 19 years old by that time. And that was about uh, 79, eight, you know. And come, you know, it was actually 80 when I was doing the play because I was doing my metric then. And uh, come um, working after showing them, come 81, the beginning, but right after we got our metric results, Gibson Kenders people came and said, hey, and back they told me, hey, but I keep calling into our near to be out to Leon. So they came and, you know, fetched me and told me, hey, but Bragib is looking for you, he's looking for an actor, so we told him about you. I mean, so basically that's mm. where the, my professional uh, thing started in 1981. I mean, speaking about, uh, you know, being discovered there, um, how important is it, you know, being discovered at such a young age and, and yeah. uh, you know, you are able to work on your craft over a period of time? You know, it, it, it is so important. I mean, you know, basically when you are young, you are, you know, accessible to things. You know, and I'm glad that I actually, you know, some of my sort of my career was de uh, de defined at the age of 15, you know, but I guess, you know, but it's, it is so important that, you know, I did um, uh, Shakespeare professionally three mm -hmm. times. I did um, Othello, I did Julius Caesar, and I did, uh, there's one, it's not very known, but it's a, it's a Shakespeare play called Titus Andronicus. But if you would ask me now, and it's cool, I did um, Macbeth. Yeah. when I was still doing my metric and in fact it was part of my uh, what is it prescribed uh, work yeah. prescribed. and if you ask me now to you know recall any of the monologues that I did when I was you know professional none comes to mind mm -hmm. or stayed in my mind but the one that stayed in my mind is the one that I did when I was 19 20 and that is Macbeth you know I mean the, the famous if it were done when it is done to a world were done quickly 
if this assassination could travel up the consequence and catch with the succeed success, that this blow might be the be all and the end all here, but here upon this bank and shore of time we would jump the life to come. That is still in my head. Yeah. You know what I mean? So um, so it, it is really because as, as a young person, you know, it is when everything, the eagerness to do things is still there. Mm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I, I, I mean, let's talk about the foundation now. Yeah. The Silomage uh, Foundation. Yeah. Um, Silomage Kanubi Foundation. And then, you know, uh, how it came about and then, you know, what prompted it? I mean, yeah. did, did you see a gap in... in, in in, in, in the industry itself, or was it an issue that, look, I need to plow back? Mm -hmm. You know, it came, I think one thing that motivated it, it was for me to use theatre as a, you know, um, an instrument for social advocacy, mm. you know, and, you know, I mean, I loved your um, intro, you know, talking about the importance of the arts and, and all that. Art is very important in our lives. You know, um, one of the, one, not one director who had a who has a very good who had a very good influence yeah. influence on me is the the late Barney Simon who was a co-founder of the Market Theatre and when asked why theatre he answered in a very brilliant way he said there are those who believe that we are created in the image of God mm -hmm. and there are those who believe that God created man because he loves listening to stories so if we believe as they do then we know why we are telling stories so, s songs tell stories, um, theater tells stories, dance tells a story. So, theater, about the telling of stories is so important, but also what is important, it is the training. And, uh, you know, my wish, it will, you know, is to basically like have a, a, a performing arts academy, you know, because I believe you cannot make an actor or a performer between lunch and breakfast. Yeah. It takes time of training. It takes time of, you know, of dedicating yourself to to your art, and so that you grow in it and refine it, you know. So, but at the moment, I think it's actually for me to, you know, impart, you know, the knowledge that I have gained within what almost like forty one years, you know, professionally, mm -hmm. and then forty seven or forty six years, you know, um, as an you know as a uh, as an ardent, you know, performing artist. Um, we're going to take a quick ad break. When we come back, I want us to touch on uh, to touch on you know how you navigate being a mentor and an artist at the same time. Okay, how right. you go about uh, doing that? Uh, Silo okay. Makekan will be a legendary actor and creative entrepreneur joining us tonight to speak on youth and talent development and mentorship in the entertainment industry. We're going to take a quick ad break. We're coming back after this. Welcome back. You're still watching Soweto Today. Much appreciated for joining us this evening. Now, before the ad break, we started the conversation on uh, developing talent in the entertainment industry with renowned award-winning actor and creative entrepreneur, Silo Mage Kanube, who's still joining us in studio this evening. Uh, Mr. Mage Kanube, mm -hmm. much appreciated for staying on. I mean, mm -hmm. before the ad break, you know, I wanted us to um, touched on various issues, but I think this is a perfect time. Mm -hmm. How do you navigate the two? Being an artist mm -hmm. and then, you know, still being able to mentor people. I mean, mm -hmm. you've been in the industry for years and then obviously, you know, you're still going strong. Mm -hmm. You know, there was one thing, there was one interesting time, I think it was in 2004 and I was being interviewed for the job of artistic director at the market. And I was asked a question uh, that, you know, since I was an actor and now I would be an artistic director, you know, would I still want to be on stage? And my response to them was no, because if I'm on stage, it's all about me. Mm -hmm. Or if I'm acting I'm, you know, in front of the camera, it's all about me. But if I'm in that position, it's actually creating in my own image you know, and imparting more to other people than to myself, mm -hmm. you know. So that is basically my attitude towards, 
you know, differentiating the artist in me and the mentor. And as I'm acting, I mean, if I go and say, hey, I'm going to do a job, it's about me. But if I'm in a room with 10 other people, then I'm creating more mm. of me, you know what I mean? And, you know, I've always made even a, you know, a parallel that there is a certain interesting parallel between acting and uh, being a Christian. You know, <laughs> in order to be a Christian, mm. you know, you have to accept Jesus, you know, and after accepting Jesus, what do you do? Then you engage the scriptures. And after the engaging the scriptures, what do you do? You live, you know, you try to live according the to the word, scripture, yeah. by the word, mm. you know, and then acting is the same thing. In order to be an actor or be a singer, you have to accept, you know, the position that you're giving in. And as an actor or a singer, basically, you're either going to learn the songs and basically, you know, give your own interpretation and live mm -hmm. according to the part that you, and, you know, in, in, uh, in acting, there is a script as well. <laughs> you know, I mean, a script, we say script, but it's actually the short yeah. of scripture. <laughs> you know <laughs> what I mean? So yeah, that, that you know that, that that is that. So um, you know, talking about that, I'm interested in finding out if you have been able, uh, mm. or just the general public out there, yeah, uh, have been able to separate you mm -hmm. from the character. I mean, sometimes you would hear that uh, you know actors have been slapped, yeah, uh, at the mall, so Excuse people would me, yeah. push you around mm -hmm. because of. <coughs> Uh, a, a certain, mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, role yeah. that you had on TV. Uh, have you encountered such a situation over the years? Well, I haven't had that. I think basically because, I mean, maybe my first character was Archie and yeah. Archie was lovable. <laughs> 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 you know. Yeah. You know, people loved Archie. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but I've never had that. But also talking about just separating myself from the characters that I play. You know, I always say that... Um, in fact, there's one writer called David Mamet. He says, in the script, there is no character, but what you find is a series of actions. Mm. So my take now on that is that character is defined by actions, you know. So, I mean, for instance, in fact, it was interesting as I was coming here, the lady was cleaning, you know, was it, was it, you know, basically <laughs> because he sees me as mm. you know, from Skim Sam, you know. Um, I don't live according, like, Kanyao. You know, Kanye has got a series of actions that he's yeah. doing and what is conning people, you know. So that is how I separate because now when it comes to me, you know, it has to do with the fact that, hey, <laughs> you, know, you know, so and I've got to do actions that actually define how I will end up, you know, looking or mm. doing things. So character is defined by actions. And, you know, it, and it is such a basic thing, but it's so hard to do. Because in whatever one wants to do, you've got to decide on your series of actions mm. that you want that, that 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 will help you to define what you want to be. I mean, like now you are the interviewer, yeah. you know, and it has to do with a series of actions that you have taken in order to be where you are. And now everybody notices you as a, 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 a television presenter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do you deal with, uh, you know, parents? I mean, mm. um, obviously now, uh, you know, the bigger goal now is to uh, establish the performing arts, uh, you know, academy. Uh, yeah. academy. Mm -hmm. um, you know, with parents, they still have misconceptions mm -hmm. uh, or an idea that the mm -hmm. entertainment industry or just the creative industry yeah. is not good yeah. uh, because of maybe certain things that they've heard. Mm -hmm. How do you navigate uh, such talk with parents? You know what I would say is that, I mean, I, I mean, when I grew up, I mean, in fact, a friend of mine's father, Ogewa, to be a, hey, where, 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 Today, things have changed, you know, um, you know, and the industry has grown. You know, all it, 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 it needs is for a person to be dedicated and, um, you know, up, make sure that they actually do a series of actions. You know, interesting part was for me, I mean, you know, I remember, I mean, I left acting for two years and went and worked as a clerk. Mm -hmm. And um, when I decided to go back uh, in 85, uh, 
my biological father was opposed to it because I had a Rangwan Obama man who used to be an actor, Kenny Majos, you know, but you know, he was, <laughs> you know, saping too much. And he said, Oh, my so fun, Bana, Fana, and Baba Manwa, you know, blow Chuala, blow him bamba. Actually, he used to call Chuala him bamba, everything. And then my, you know, my stepfather, when I told him, he said, Worst decision. Why? And it was much later when I asked him, But why did you say that? And he said, No, when you were growing up, I tried you in this, I tried you in that, I tried you in that, and you always dropped out. And every time when you had to do something, somebody had to push you from behind. But the only time where I saw you do thing, something without anybody pushing from behind was when you started doing this acting thing. Sometimes I would call you out and say, hey, go cut the lawn. You go cut the lawn fast so that you go back in the garage and go and talk to yourself, you know. And I think it's also a thing of identifying what, you know, if you do something that you love, hey, man, Love go, goes a long way, you know, and I love the quote by um, Khalil Gibran when he says, work is love made visible. When you're doing work that you love, your, that you love, your life becomes visible. Interesting one. Uh, there, uh, we're going to take a quick break. I want us to talk about the auditions okay. uh, after the ad break. I know that, uh, you know, uh, our viewers out there, they are interested in finding out where are they going to go happen, okay. uh, and where the auditions are going to happen. Our guest tonight is award-winning actor and creative entrepreneur Silo Makeka Nube, who is in conversation with us about the creative arts and the ways in which uh, his foundation seeks to help progress and elevate the industry. We're coming back after this. Welcome back. You're still watching So It's Today. Thank you for choosing to stay with us. We are getting closer to the end of the show and have been in conversation on uh, developing talent in the entertainment industry with legendary Silo Mageka and Mube, who's still joining us in studio this evening. Uh, you, I, I want us to talk about the incubation program, mm -hmm. which is yeah. on offer from the foundation, mm -hmm. the Silo Mage uh, Kanube Foundation there. Maybe if you can tell us more about it and uh, also, you know, uh, what is lined up in terms of uh, the foundation. Okay. And I think I would like to start first. I mean, the previous students, if the, you know, if you're watching the show, hey, make sure that you contact uh, Tiny and uh, we, we, we should meet up again. You know, because I had some students who were very good, you know, uh, last year. And I would like to continue with them. With them. And... Um, so, I mean, the, the incubation is, some, is an idea that, uh, um, that before I, I, I go lo lo lo, 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 lo <laughs> about <laughs> other things, you know, um, the auditions are going to be at uh, Anger Tom's Hall tomorrow, as from 10 o'clock uh, up until, well, it will depend on, what, you know, how many people we get. And, but I'm looking, you know, even though it is going to be, uh, know acting involved mm. but uh, mainly I, I'm looking for singers you know because what I would be intending what I'm intending to do is actually to do a musical show and uh, you can you can never teach somebody how to sing if a person is tone deaf or they don't yeah. have the thing and they, because it is actually even just a short period so I'm looking for people who can sing young people who can sing uh, acting, I will teach you. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. I mean, I've had others come, no, but now I can act. I said, no, no, no. I'm still going to have to teach you. Yeah. But let's start with you. You know, and also what is going to be involved is going to be dance is going to be involved. So all the three performing arts disciplines are going to be involved in the training. So it's music, dance, dance and acting. Act and acting. Mm -hmm. But all I'm looking for for now mainly is that look, you know, that you can sing. You know, and you don't have to sing like, uh, what is it? Um, Whitney, Whitney Houston. Houston yeah. no, no, no. As <laughs> long as you've got an ear for music, you know, and uh, the, my musical director is all going to be the one who's going to test how much and how, you know, how you're doing. So it's going to be mainly that, you know, mm -hmm. and... Um, and wh what was the question again? Is this specific age, for instance? Well, I'm looking for, I mean, basically, uh, let's say from 18 up until 35. 
Mm. You know, up and well, up until forty, because I mean, somehow you know, other people they still are have 40, it, yeah. Other people are forty, but they you know they're looking thirties, you know, and they still have the same energy. I'm sixty-five now, you know, but a lot of people tell me that, uh, you know, I, I don't look it, you know, mm. um, and they say black don't crack, yeah. <laughs> you know. Definitely. So yeah, I'm looking basically for that age, um, and what else? Yeah. So, so, so I want to understand. So mm. now the auditions are going to be tomorrow, the 29th, yeah. which is uh, Saturday. Um, so, so from tomorrow, uh, will there be an extension of some sort? Or well, you know, I mean, and I'm doing this, I mean, through the help of the, uh, the Department of uh, Sports, Arts and Culture. Yeah. You know, they are giving me the funding to do that. And, um, you know, I, I, well, I'm looking forward to actually maybe, you know, them helping us to extend this so that it doesn't just become a thing that we do in three, four, four months or three, four, five months, you know, so that it becomes a yearly thing. Like I said, my belief is that uh, you can't, you know, make an actor or performing artist between lunch and breakfast. Yeah. It needs continuous and creating an environment, you know, for that. You know, I like, you know, you, you, you call me as an entrepreneur, you know, when I, I mean, you know, when people, you know, I've, there was a time when you hear people, you know, oh, no, oh, no, I'm in business, you know, you know, yeah. oh, no, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm in business. <laughs> and it, it worried me to say, well, you know, the way these people talk about business, you know, <laughs> so I had a friend who was in business yeah. and I asked him to take me to one of the same, you know, to some of the seminars. And one thing that I, or even I'll get there and then, you know, people will say, oh, Archie, Archie, oh, and they will say, oh, so you're in business too? And say, yes. And they say, what business? And I say, show business. But yeah. say, yeah, 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 but what business? This is business. So they still do not exactly, regard it as business. Exactly, you know, and yet. I think also even, you know, just for, you know, for the previous student, uh, the last year students, one of the things that we never really included was or did was to deal with the entrepreneurial part of it. Yeah. You know, and I'm asking them, hey, guys, come back, come back, come back, come back. Let's work on this. And, we, you know, to, in fact, this part is actually going to make sure that we even work towards a show while they begin to even um, register companies for themselves, yeah. you know, and then, you know, begin to, you know, bring the, the entrepreneurial side of, you know, of, uh, of show business. Just before I let you go, because uh, mm. we've ran out of time, I mean, um, how important is, you know, partnerships, uh, especially uh, with projects uh, such as these, mm -hmm. you know, uh, getting the necessary funding to be yeah. able to uh, have a program uh, such as this? And also, um, you know, what could be, um, what would be the short message of uh, encouragement to those that uh, are still doubting themselves, mm -hmm. uh, especially as you said, that uh, people are still saying that the creative industry is not a job. job yeah. yeah, it's not mm. a real job. job yeah. uh, what do we say to them? And also, just finally, where people can find you as I a mean, foundation. I think the interesting part is that these people basically watch movies and they look at the Denzel Washingtons, listen to music and yeah. listen to whoever, uh, Solange, whatever. Those people have, uh, J uh, what is it, Jay Z? Yeah. Beyonce, you know, it's actually just so that this is business. You can make business out of it. But all it takes as well is how you refine your craft. Sometimes people, you know, and I think we just kind of got into that space where we, that's when things have to happen to us. Whereas, you know, it is you who has got to make sure that this is what I want. And then you start working towards it. Yeah, and the work, I mean, through hardships or whatever. I mean, it's not that I haven't been to th through hardships. I mean, there were times when I would go to auditions and not even get it, you know, but I kept at it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where can people find you? Uh, people, I'm on social media. They can find me on social media at Selomakekanube on X, <laughs> you know, Twitter. Yeah. And then also at Selo, but not Selomakekanube, at Selo MKN, you know, Makekanube, but at Selo MKN on uh, Twitter and also on Instagram, and then Salomagaganglub on Facebook, you know, and uh, yeah. And all the, I mean, the auditions also, I mean, I'm looking for people, I mean, just around Johannesburg. Yeah. You know, um, I know we are here in Soweto, but, uh, you know, around Johannesburg, around Johannesburg and then and come, let's, let's make life happen. Much appreciated for coming in. Thank uh, you, Tabo. And also good luck and, uh, you know, um, 
congratulations on the work that you do also. I Thank mean, it's, it's not really uh, uh, easy nah. actually to, 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 to push programs such as this as, as, uh, as we're having people that are still having that nah, mentality absolutely. that yeah. uh, this is not a real job. But much appreciated. I hope people will come in their numbers. It's the yeah. 29th yeah. of um, June, which is on Saturday. On Saturday uh, from 8 o'clock in the morning, people can start queuing. Yeah, they start, start queuing up queuing. and then come and show me what they got. You know. Much appreciated for coming in. Thank you, Tabo. That was uh, Silo Makeka Ngube, veteran, actor and creative entrepreneur joining us and speaking on the power and value of talent development in the entertainment industry and also letting us know of the auditions that will be taking place tomorrow uh, with the Silo Makeka Ngube Foundation. That's how we wrap up today's episode of So It's Today. Remember, we love hearing from you, so please feel free to talk to us about this episode. Send us an email at sowetotoday at sowetotv.co.za. Call us for what's up at 081-531-8857. Bye to get Tabo Mulukwani and the rest of the team. It's good night from us and thank you for watching.